everybody. Welcome back. Um, today I am shifting gears. We're going to take a short little uh, break from our small accordion journal. I just need I need to do something different. So today I want to show you what I've been playing around with. And this was inspired by Kathy's Garden. Um, she's new to me. Um, but I have to say I recently found her maybe a month or so ago and I've really been enjoying her videos. Um, so if you haven't checked her out, do do so because she's got some really inspiring um, videos. But the other thing is I am going to participate in Taddy Treasures postcard challenge. This is the first week she started this and I've only caught it I think on the tail end of the week so I am going to try today with you <laughs> to create a postcard. Um, so if you're interested in getting into this challenge I'm assuming you can go to her um, YouTube channel. It's um, Taddy, let me make sure I've got it right, Taddy Taddy Treasures um, and then I believe she's got a Facebook group as well. I've just joined that. So um, so I'm kind of combining what I saw on Kathy's channel with uh, participating in this little challenge for um, the postcard challenge. Because this is an index card and it's a, a 4x8. So <clears throat> I'm really happy with how that came out. It was fun. As you know, I struggle with the Tim Holtz dolls, and I've got some of them. But having said that, I'm not going to do this one today. I, I've i already done that. I want to do something different. So I've got a little scrap pile. I'm going to sit this to the side, um, and I'm hoping that this is going to come out. If it doesn't come out, you guys won't see this video. <laughs> Um, this is my scrap pile, believe it or not. I've already got a little basket full of things. And I've just been pulling out some stuff that I think I want to try to work with and see if I can do something a little bit different because I like this image of the bird and I really, really would like to incorporate this into the postcard. And luckily... Um, she doesn't require that it is an actual postcard because I don't have a postcard stamp and I don't have any old postcards here that I could um, work with so that's great I can still get involved I'm hoping I can get this done and get it on there because I think today may be the last day I'm not certain um, I just recently found it and I thought I would just jump on in Alright, so I'm first just going to start with getting some of this sheet music down. And I'm going to um, have the image horizontal is, is what I want to do. And like I said, I'm, I thought about using that postcard that I made, but I thought now I want to go ahead and work with it again. Um, and try to come up with something that will use some of these scraps that I've got so I can try to dwindle that down just slightly so let me see I hope you guys yeah okay just trying to make sure you guys are in frame it's very um, hard for me to know if you are with this setup I hope you guys are all doing well today. Um, Paul is off doing some driving, so it's given me a little opportunity to film today. I didn't think I would have time. The, be the weekends are very busy for us, um, but we had a super, super good group. I was a little bit worried this weekend because we've probably got probably close on 200 people here, and it's it's a relatively small area um, so that can get a little bit crazy with um, with only having I think we've got about six showers for the we've got a total of about eight showers and then we've got 
three, four, five, six toilets. So that can get a little bit crazy, as you can imagine. Uh, I don't know why. I'm just distressing the back of this. I don't even know why, but... But it, as I said, a um, really, really quiet group, very um, tidy, so it, it didn't end up being as bad as I thought, so I'm so grateful for that. Um, and that's why I actually weren't planning to um, even be on today, because the weekends it's just too much for me to try to film and edit in, in addition to our, um, our chores here, so... But, luckily, I did get a bit of time. It's such a welcome surprise to be able to play around with my supplies. I haven't thought this through. I'm Honestly, I'm just um, going with it, which is always kind of scary on camera. <laughs> because if it doesn't work out, then I've just... Uh, I just have to scrap it, but sometimes I just I just want to get in here and try things, and I think that's how you kind of learn, don't you? Because not everything you make is you're going to be happy with, and so yeah, I don't really have any kind of set plan with this one. I'm really really pleased with how that one with the paper dolls came out because I have them in my stash. You know I've been whining about it for ages and I apologize for that but I don't I don't like things to just sit unused and and um, it's just a paper I've got somehow I want to incorporate this. Um, I don't like to have things sitting around that aren't being used and um, so I've kind of been trying to push myself. To use up those. Um, those little people. In, in various things. And I sat down the other night. Um, actually I don't know if I've got it handy. I'll show you in just a minute what I got up to the other night. I... Was, Paul was um, <clears throat> watching TV and I just really sometimes I just want to craft while he's watching something so I just took the opportunity sorry guys if I bump the table I gotta resituate myself here um, let me just show you what I got up to if I got it in here this is a little book I'm working on sorry guys I'm gonna just if you don't want to see this I'll I'll put it where you can skip over it. This is one of the books I'm working on for myself. This is out of a file folder. And uh, I haven't added any pockets to these pages yet. I'm still thinking that through. And this is the front I haven't completed. But inside, um, where is it? Yes, here it is. This is what I worked on the other night. This is just a little seed packlet, packet. Um, the purring cat, I believe that was her the name of her channel. Um, so I, you know, I always try to remember and give credit to whoever's idea. But this is a seed packet, and I just really love how that came out. I think it's very sweet. And this is one of Anna, Angela's images. Um, so that's what I was playing around with the other night, and I just ended up making. Because I had a 6x6 six six paper stack, so I just made up a load of those. So, um, yeah, I won't go through all of these projects, because uh, some of them you've seen. But that was fun the other night. It's, it's really nice to have things that just um, are just relaxing, with, and you don't have to think too much. And, and those really were a very, very nice little project to just sit and do. And uh, when I go back to my lockup, I'll probably just drop those ones that I've made because <laughs> I can't carry them around with me. I don't have the space. But boy, one day I'm going to have a lot of stuff to put in some journals. <laughs> That's what it's looking like because I am really, really loving having the time to actually um, 
craft, um, you know, for so many years, I just did not get the time to really try other, other things. Okay, so I had found this, pulled it out. I think it's way too big. I like that, but I'm kind of thinking it would be fun to put some more. laces and textures back here. I'm just going to ink the edges of this. So it's been a really really nice just to um to start doing some of these tutorials and things I've seen off of other channels and even my own um items. I, I want to now start going back and collecting um, things that I've done in the past um, that I don't have, you know, this is crazy, but I didn't save. They tended to go into a journal and, and then got sold, so now is my time to go back and try to do some of those. So I'm, I'm just loving it. I'm really, really enjoying it, guys. Okay, let me see what I've done here. I've had some cheesecloth cut. I'm certain of it. There we go. So, let me... And then I will, <clears throat> feels like that's two layers, let me see, it is. I thought that was a bit thick. Um, and then I'll ink that up a little bit more, I think. Okay, so I'm just trying to look through my little little basket here. Sorry if you can't really see this well, guys. It's just it's just impossible to have a <clears throat> everything up here for you to view, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just going through and just seeing if there's anything. I kind of like the idea of adding some of that maybe. Um what else? What else? What else? Sorry for having to lean over here, guys. I've got some of these, you know, I stamped a bunch of things on my fabric. And then I've got some more doily laying around. Let me see about getting a bit of that going. <clears throat> I've got this clock. I've just pulled this bit. I'll bring you guys back down here now. All right, so I'm just gonna see. I mean, I don't wanna cover everything up, so. I think the first thing I'll do is get some of that there.
so I've been working in my um, my journals lately um, I'm a bit behind on documenting things because we are so busy here and to be honest I've got to order a few photos but honestly I haven't taken many photos since we've been here which has been quite a shame really um, so again I feel like I'm kind of getting so many things going I haven't I'm gonna have to scale back on something um, the journaling I have to say there it's not something beautiful I mean you've you've probably if you're interested in journaling I'm sure you've seen the channels there are some really talented ladies out there but that's I'm not doing it for that purpose I I just want to get events documented and as long as I'm happy with, with it I'm not really intending to show it um, because most of it's very private and um, and as I said I'm, I'm not an expert at it by any stretch of the imagination this I think I would like to do some light stamping on that just for a little bit of interest so my distressing I don't want this to be too I don't want to take away from anything but I just think it needs a little bit of um, something going on there it's just a, a, a stamp with like a basket and some flowers but you can't just distinguish that's what it is but I just wanted something of interest on there that didn't take away from this other stuff I'm working on so yes I've been journaling I still I need to get out here and really start taking some photos uh, we're kind of, it's kind of a strange well you if you've followed us on the other channel you can see we're kind of in a little cluster of woods with a river beside and so there's no open areas uh, for getting out and um, like at night I can see that there's some amazing sunsets going on but we can't see them from where we are so um, that's a bit frustrating for us but I do need to start to, trying to get out I've been wanting to get out on my bike and Again, we started to do that the other night, and this road is so busy. Um, the first time we tried to go, there was a semi come by us, and it really scared me. I just told Paul, I said, no, <laughs> I'm not going. Thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. All right, so I've got these elements, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to make all this work or not. I don't know. I had pulled that out, but that's not really what I... I want to work with right now. So I may not use all of this, but I think this it would be nice if I can work that in somehow. Um, this is going to be the focal point, so I'm kind of like that there. And then I thought maybe the clock could just be peeking out, but I don't want to cover everything. I don't know. Let me think about this, and then I could have. Because I like the idea of bringing in one of these fabric. Bits. I just don't know if that really goes. I do like that because I'll, I think that is nice for something different. I'm going to go with it. I'm just going to go for it.
So yes, unfortunately, I've got too many interests, I think, which has always been my problem. Um, I just don't seem to have enough hours in the day to do everything I want to do. Can you relate to that? <laughs> I'm sure some of you must feel the same way. It's just like, and I try to get up early so that I've got more time. And uh, it just doesn't seem to matter. The time is just, it just evaporates. Okay, so now let me get this trimmed down a bit. And I'm going to try to fray some of the edges a little bit more. So yeah, we've <clears throat> we've only got probably we don't know. We got to try to pin them down, but I think we probably only got a few more weeks, maybe five more weeks. Um, and just so you know, when it gets closer to time, I'll let y'all know because um, I'm probably not going to be when when we start heading home. And when I say home, Florida, because um, I'm in California right now. In case in case you don't know. Um, Paul and I will, I'll be um, absent from the channel for a while during that transition back to back home because we don't like to really drive on the interstate, so we're just going to have to take it slow. All right, before I put that down, I want to ink this up a little bit and tone that down a bit, that white. down again and all right so let's just think what else because it does need a few more bits let me see how am I doing on the time all right guys I'm gonna shut this off and I'll be right okay guys there we are all righty so this is where we're at I've got to get that down so that's how it's looking so let's see what we can do with this. I've grabbed a, a bulb pin and then I've just went to my stash and pulled out some different laces and textures. And then this is a sheet of muslin that I did the other day. I just went through and with my stays on I just stamped all over this little scrap piece so that I've got it handy beside me and I can just cut off little bits and this is what I've cut off. Um, so I've got that. i sit that over and then let's see what I've got. This is just some little bits. Well that's kind of interesting. I don't know if it's going to work, but let's we'll see. It might be a bit big, I don't know. Yeah, I don't want that. It's too too distracting from that bird. The bird. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We need some buttons, buttons, buttons. Placed around here and there. And maybe that one.
maybe I'll have one there. I just got a smaller one. And I think I will grab a a little um, <clears throat> metal piece. One second. Own your dreams. I don't know, that one's just kind of speaking to me. Okay. I just set an eyelet real quick. So it's actually kind of covered the clock up anyway, so that was probably not even needed. But I do like it because you can still see a bit of it. And so now let me just do a couple of these buttons and we will be ready to go. I think three looks nice. Let me see if I can get this real quick.
So yeah, um, what projects are you guys getting up to at the moment? Are you working on full journals or are you just doing little elements to add to it? It's been um, really quite a change for me to do it. This is very backwards to how I would um, create journals. I always um, make my journal and then um, as I'm going through then I then I create the element and I know that that's not way most people who journal or create journals tend to do mass production and I, I've never never been able to do that um, it's just not how I create I know that it's the most efficient way but it's just not it's not how I do it um, but having said that like you know oh gosh this is oozing out this must be the heat um, I just got one more button to go guys and then, then we'll be done <laughs> um, it's um, like the other night I did several of those coin pockets but that's the first time I think I've ever really done it that way um, but I didn't embellish them I just made the base and then I thought well that way it, it gives me the ability if I feel that it would be suited to the journal that I'm working on then I can just um, hopefully it will coordinate with whatever I'm working on but I don't know uh, it, like I said it's just never been a way for me personally to work that way so yeah I don't know um, I do enjoy it in the evening though just sitting down and if I've got something that I've watched or a playlist you know of things I want to go through and do it's been so nice to have the time to be able to work on it. I love it, love it, love it. No um, plans to do um, another journal, although having said that, very soon I will be sharing with you guys a design team project that I did for Victorious um, Design on Etsy. But after that I haven't started any other journals. I'm trying to get some items ready to do for Happy Mail to send out. I've been wanting to do that for so long and now I don't really have any excuse why. Before it was the shipping back to the US. Um, I did send some out in the UK but it'll be nice to send some out to the ladies here now now that I'm back home. So I'm looking forward to that. I don't know if those buttons are going to stay on there. Hopefully that will with that Fabri-Tac. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, actually, because um, all of that was in my little scrappy basket, and as I said, you can't, um, it doesn't stand out too much, but I think the clock does give a little bit of interest there. Let me just twist this real quick. And I do like these little clusters. They're so pretty and so easy to make. So I'm very happy with that. So I'm going to enter that into the postcard challenge. And uh, she's got a different theme for every week. So do check that out. Um, if it's not too late, you'll have time to get one in and, and enter. It's, she does have a Facebook page. So um, check out her channel if you want any details on that. So thank you guys for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed that little craft along. And I hope that you'll consider joining into some of these challenges as well. If you know of any other ones that you think I'd be interested in, let me know because um, 
you know, that's the sort of thing I'm really enjoying at the moment, is just participating into some things that I could not find the time to do uh, previously. So, thank you guys again. I will get back to the little accordion journal as soon as I can, but we're off the next two days, and um, I've got some plans to get out and just enjoy, enjoy the area. Um, but I will get back to that as soon as I can. That gives you three pages um, to work on anyway. So hopefully you you don't mind me taking that short break in between um, carrying on with that little project. So thank you guys again. And um, I will see you here very soon. Bye-bye.